All right, let's get you liberated from the chaos of working in your business. It's Scott Beebe, the head coach, the founder of the Business on Purpose podcast. And we are going to talk about something today. I've been getting a lot of questions. Again, at the time of this recording, it's the end of the year. And so transition from one year to the next obviously breeds a lot of emotion, breeds a lot of question, breeds a lot of intentionality. We tend to laser focus a little bit more. We tend to question our actions. Are we doing the right things with the right frequency, with the right people, etc.? And the question becomes, and is ultimately phrased this way, how do I raise a family and a business all at the same time? Some of you are just getting started. Some of you are two, three, four years in. Some of you are 10, 15 years in. Statistically, 96% of businesses fail within 10 years, but the rationale and the reason for those failures are typically not market. It's usually burnout. The business owner just gets sick of it. And if it's not the business, then sometimes it's the family. And the family burns out. And that's got all kind of consequence as well. So how do you successfully raise a family and raise a business all at the same time? You know, on podcasts like this, I'm really, really cautious uh, to provide any insight at all because we're in the middle of it. We're not on the we're not on the other side of this. We're not 60, 70, 80, 90 years old having raised up children to and through adulthood who have raised their own children. We're not there yet. So I thought I would give you insight from in the middle of the ball game. And the plays that we're running right now as, as a family and as business owners. These are the plays that we're calling, trusting that God is going to honor these plays, uh, trusting that we're getting these plays directly from Him, so that we can raise a family and a business and nurture a marriage all at the same time. All right, so this is not expert advice. This is simply telling you, here are the plays that we're calling right now. Number one, and this goes all the way back, we talk about it endlessly, Vision. We actually have a vision for our family. If you go to createafamilyvision.com, createafamilyvision.com, you can see what we've got there, and you can make that investment in your family. It's the first thing we do. About every six weeks, we review that vision. In fact, at the time of this recording, Ashley and I are about to go away on an overnight, and she and I are just going to review that vision together, just the two of us, as we're doing planning for the next year. That's one of the plays we're calling right now as a family is we want to actively be investing in the vision of our family. And we think through various categories with our family. We think through uh, what the, the skill sets, the gifts that God has given them. And what does that play out to down the road? It plays out into gift giving. It's the holiday season at the time of this recording. And, and gift giving, we're, we're actively working to try and give gifts around the key words within our family vision and our mission statement. So our mission is to be a light through adventure, creativity, and time around the table. So those three kind of key phrases, key words, adventure, creativity, time around the table, we're trying to gift give around those. So some level of intentionality there. Does it work? I don't know. That's just the play we're calling right now. So that's number one that we're, uh, that's one of the plays that we're calling right now. A second play that we're calling right now is intentionality in conversation. So Ashley and I are trying to work really hard. Does it work? I don't know. I'm assuming that it's going to based on precedent that we've seen in the past, based on what uh, God's words laid out for us in terms of thoughtful, intentional, um, non, non-haphazard, non-screaming uh, uh, <laughs> kind of communication. And so we're trying to protect time in the evening. And I'll give you some examples. We have literally told our, our, our kids at times, hey, it's time for you to go to bed because this is mommy and I's time. And we have that conversation with our kids and let them know that this is not your time anymore. This is our time uh, to be able to visit. And so we want them to visually see us in posture of conversation. So that posture for us usually is on our back porch on a little, just kind of a cheap little garden sofa back there. And so we sit and we like to visit as much as we can. And so that's one of the plays that we're trying to call right now. A third play that we're trying to call right now is the play of, um, 
the, the, so if you've got the vision, you've got the conversation, then it's the play of coming in, seeing all of that uh, context that's there and setting a weekly schedule. So the play of routine. I know it's hard. You've got kids. You've got work. You've got clients. You've got different uh, elements in your life that you're trying to serve. But having a schedule in place that calls for some variety of routine. Now, you could immediately fire back and go, Scott, my schedule, my, my week is unschedulable. Somebody else is in charge of my week. Um, that's a whole nother discussion. And my guess is your business, if you're a small business owner, which most of you are, is owning you and you are not owning your business. That's where you've got to go back to vision. Mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash vision. And you've got to write out the vision. Because if you don't write out the vision, what's going to happen is that vision is going to be written out for you by other people. I'm going to say it again. If you don't write out the vision, that vision is going to be written out for you by other people. And their vision is not going to align with what you see in your head. So setting a weekly schedule around your work, around your family time, we just kind of... We just kind of laid out the fact that we're not going to work at night and on the weekends. Are there times that I have to violate that? Yes, there are times, but they're very, very minimal. So maybe a conference out of town, maybe a podcaster that can only do an interview in the evening or on the weekends. There are times that we have to violate it. It's just not that often. And I realize that if I have to violate that, that I have I've, I've a debited currency out of my family relationship at that point. But if you can have a non-negotiable weekly schedule in place, what that's going to do for your family is breed predictability and intentionality around your conversation. What it's going to do for your business, it's going to breed predictability and leadership. Leadership. Because when you've got a non-negotiable weekly schedule, you've got team meetings in place, you've got process follow-up in place, you've got process uh, in embedding and training in place, you've got great leadership uh, you, you've got your sales calls, but yeah, everything's everything's built out if you've got that in place. So here's the thing, both for your family and for your business, write your vision down. Number two, have intentional, protected, predictable conversation. In business, that's what we call team meetings. In marriage, that's what we call hanging out. And third, set a non-negotiable weekly schedule. Do it both for your life and for your business. Set up a routine. There's flexibility in the routine. That's okay. If you get off of your routine, that's okay. But routine is there for you to come back to. Those are the three major plays that we're calling right now. And all of this is within the context of God's leadership through the power of His Holy Spirit. I realize that that may not resonate with some of you. That's okay. I just I want to be honest about where we're at and what we're doing as a couple and as a family. That's how we're choosing to... And and quite frankly, depending on leading family and leading our business. I hope that helps. And as you get set for a new year, really whatever time you're listening to this throughout the year, I want you to recall this at the beginning of a new year and really think through this stuff. So I hope that helps you a little bit more be liberated from the chaos of working in your business. Three things, vision, intentional communication, and non-negotiable weekly schedule. All three of them are action-oriented items. I'll see you next time right here on the Business on Purpose podcast.